Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this really loose, scribbly, lovely, snowy, winter, whimsical landscape. It's a really quick, fun painting. I started off with a block of 140 pound cold pressed paper and then I've just got a flat, cheap acrylic brush here and I'm going to use some acrylic paint, that really craft, cheap craft paint you can get hold of. I'm using it's matte acrylic and I wetted the page first and I'm going to sort of use it a bit like um, watercolours and this is a nice dark blue colour. I'll try and list the colours in the description below and I'm just like slapping that on and then I'm using a darker blue to go over the top of it. I wanted to create a nice dark scene for the sky so I could um, flick some snow onto it so you, for the white to show up you need it to be quite dark here I just added a bit of diluted bleach because I love like the frosty texture it gives the painting I'm just darkening this up a bit I decided to go over it with a bit of Luna Black from Daniel Smith because I decided that was not dark enough I used quite a thick mix and I just smooshed it all in and you can see all the brush strokes and just had fun with it. With this, it's just a, a completely fun, loose, don't worry what it's going to turn out like. I never know what things are going to turn out like, but you sort of go with what you're painting and go with what happens and you'll find out. You experiment and learn as you go along. It's really fun. This is white ink. I'm just adding a bit of white acrylic ink to this and I'm just dropping it along what I was thinking might be the horizon. I wasn't quite sure what was in my mind when I was painting this. It was like whimsical snowy landscapes, So, um, but I wanted it to be quite loose and free and scribbly. This is um, a liquid watercolour that I'm using, and I just put that along the bottom. It's like a dark conker brown colour, and it's really nice, and I just let that all flow in with the white ink and made a nice muddy mess really. Then I added a bit more water and just like smudged it all down and I've moved my water jar so I don't can't keep leaning over and it made a lovely dirty muddy colour which was like beautiful wasn't it? Just look at that. Ooh. Oh, I'm thinking at the moment, what what is this? And just add a bit more bleach, that might help it. You know, it ends up smelling, this painting, but it's good. The smell wears off, believe me. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's happening here, so I think, yeah, Okay, add some more liquid watercolour. Let's just splodge this on and see what happens. So I just dropped it all in. The page is like sopping wet and um, it mixes weirdly in with that acrylic, um, matte acrylic stuff and makes a really nice dirt colour really. And it separates, you can see, you can see like some of the texture effects I've got here. So I've completely lost the sky that I did and I've completely made a big mess. I'm sort of adding a bit of bleach in the middle because I was thinking I wanted the sun but I'm not sure where it came from but there we go it managed it it bleached it out and I used a dry brush to lift off some of the pigment on the paper and oh look I've just lifted off a bit there and that created a hill A bit of lifting and blotting and I'm starting to create a landscape. Because it's winter and it's not looking that great is it there? So <laughs> add a bit of salt. That always makes things better doesn't it? Even though you catch it at the wrong time and it doesn't even do anything. To make salt work for your painting, it needs to be like the sheen needs to have gone off it and it doesn't need to be too wet. Now I decided it needs a tree, so I just splodged a tree. I was thinking, okay, 
winter pine tree Christmas tree I just picked up any old green that I had and I made a nice muddy mess in the corner that didn't really look much like a tree so let me just get one of my watercolour colour liquid watercolours which is sort of a Windsor green and I splodge that in and yeah there we go that's a tree well it's the shape of a tree I decide to drop in a bit of bleach that might make it look a bit better. It did make a bit of a snowy effect on the tree but I came in with the white matte acrylic and I made a nice like milky consistency with it and on my brush I just did some splattering because splattering is good isn't it looks like snow yeah that's my winter snow there we go and it needs some snow in on the ground doesn't it so I just use the same brush and I just put a bit of white on there a bit more splattering you know how it goes you can't have too much snow can you i'm making a blizzard now it's not a light snowfall it's a complete blizzard and i'm thinking this isn't really working is it because i always try and make something work i decided oh let's stick a house in it a little cottage snuggled in the snowy drifts and see what happens so that's the snowy roof believe it or not it doesn't look quite good does it so just add a bit more of that white matte acrylic paint to it and it might start looking like something and then come in with a pencil any pencil crayons would do these were i think i use um derwent squ squetching what's what's that sketching pencils for this um, I did paint in, oh, looks like I made a little creamy mix here that's sort of the same colour as the background and um, that's, that's a bit of the house. This paper's so wet and there's so much paint on there, it's a bit unbelievable really. It's only a small piece of paper. So I got my tissue and I decided to blot some, and look at the tree, the tree looks nice now, I've blotted some of the pigment away. I think now I'm just thinking what the hell can I do to this to make it look better. So I'm still thinking, I need to make the, the house look a bit more housey. But no, I decide to come in with a horrible grey colour and do a field. I think that's supposed to be a shadow. I'm not sure. It does sort of work, doesn't it? Kind of, in a weird way. I don't know. I'll probably end up painting all over it, but I don't. still looking at it and thinking hmm what can I do that sun doesn't look very sunny it just looks like a lump so I decided to try and make it look like it's the sun rising or setting one or the two That didn't work too well so I thought maybe it's time it was dried so I got the dryer out and still blotting and drying because it was so wet there's so much paint on there it's unbelievable I dried it and what happens to watercolour when it dries it goes lighter even if it's a bit acrylic-y and mixed with it so my tree sort of disappeared but the white stood out quite nicely so now it's dry these don't sketching pencils work quite nice over a matte surface so they're, they're really nice to go over watercolours so I'm using the white one and defining the sun moon 
whatever it is it's a lump <laughs> in the sky and adding some like white highlights here and there to the to it and um, just thinking what else I could add on it to make it look even better I've decided I needed to get some more white paint on there so let's see if it will make it any better Adding some more white paint to the background to make a snowy hill in the distance. I then decided to come in with some grey paint and do some distant trees but I wasn't sure whether it was working. You know, it was all a bit grey and muddy looking and um, why not add some more grey? Now adding some little details to the house to make it look like a house and not just a lump of something in the corner there. I then decided it needed a bit more snow so with a sort of dry brush I sort of added texture and like brushy marks over the like hills if, there's, if they are hills I'm not quite sure at this moment I'm really not liking it as usual <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm just carrying on seeing what I can do let's add a bit more snow see what happens More snow, adding some snow on the branches of the tree. Now I'm thinking it looks a bit monotone so I'm adding some dark to the tree just to bring it to life a bit. We need some more darks in here because it's looking very grey I think is the word.
Now I'm adding more grey, sort of a greeny grey, of a greyish grey, of a darker grey, <laughs> and making it more grey. Uh, now I'm adding shadows really, where I think the shadows should be. It's sort of, it's coming there, it's getting there. I don't know, what do you think? More snow. We need more snow on those branches, so I'll just put that on there. Makes it look more tree-y. I keep saying tree-y with these landscapes I'm doing. <laughs> it's funny. It's, 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 I don't think that's even a word. Now I'm thinking a bit longer. What can I do to save this? grey muddy looking painting I know pencil crayon let's scribble love a good scribble there we go that looks more like a tree more scribble a bit more scribble and a bit more scribble that looks good Adding a bit more detail to the little cottage. More scribble. Now more scribble with the white pencil. Now I'm adding some little details to the cottage and some snow on the chimney tops. I still didn't like the painting so I decided it needed a bit of zhuzhing up with some pencil crayons. These are just normal pencil crayons. I think they're polychromos and all, all different kinds I've got. They just, they go quite nicely over the top of the matte acrylic paint. Here I'm just adding a bit of detail to the distant trees. Then decided to add some foliage to the foreground. And then scribbles, we've got to add some scribbles. So this was like, I was trying to make it look snowy, then I decided it needed to be a bit wild and windy and a bit looser because I was getting a bit tight and finickety with what I was doing. So I just scribbled here and there, it loosened it up and I think it sort of added a nice element to it.
more scribbles, more trees, more foliage, more scribbles. Now some darker scribbles. This is fun, isn't it? I then decided it needed some more snow so I mixed up the white again and using a rigger brush I started to splatter some more snow over the top of it. I then added a little bit more scribble because you can't have enough scribble and I think I sort of was quite happy with it now. It created sort of a wild and rugged winter scene and that could be like a moon rising in the sky and it looked quite nice. I was quite happy I think in the end. for joining me if you like this please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hit the bell icon as well so you can know when another painting's up please join me live also i do do paintings live of a morning usually monday wednesday and thursday at 7 30 a.m gmt and also if you like my art and want to learn more and come and have fun and have more tutorials and classes please come and join my patreon Thank you for joining me. Bye.